Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. Why I love silver. What you're looking at here is a Geiger struck silver bar weighing 100 grams with a reeded edge. Silver, it comes in many different forms and has many different uses and it is quite an intriguing and fascinating metal. And it is the center point and the catalyst really of many of us in this community. It's so special for a myriad of different reasons and I'm gonna to touch on that as parts of the reasons why I love silver. Silver, it's arguably one of the most versatile metals out there. Now yes, you can make an, an argument for copper or stainless steel in its wide array of uses and uh, the, as far as quantities especially considering how inexpensive those metals are. Silver is a precious metal and I think there's some reasons why it's considered precious. Yes, it is the most abundant of the precious metals. However, there's reasons for that especially for its wide array of uses. Silver is the most reflective of the precious metals out there, and it's the most reflective of all metals out there, indeed. And it's a bit difficult to tell from this particular bar here, but um, you can see some of the, the shiny elements here, the highly polished portions of the die come through where you can see that shine. But the other parts of the bar, and as is the case, with many silver applications, it can be textured and it can be shaped and to whatever kind of finish really you desire and whatever kind of shape that you desire. Silver, it's quite a fascinating metal in that regard. Hence, it is used for mirrors. It is used for all sorts of uh, telescopes and lenses and anything that requires reflectivity silver is the metal for it and maybe that's why it's such a beautiful metal no matter if you're buying bars coins rounds or mirrors or anything it really shines it re really reflects and shows uh, what it's made of and there's no other metal that can that or even man-made substance that can be re that can be created to uh, compete with silver in regards to reflectivity Next is its use in industry. It's used in technology, especially for electronics and um, conductivity, with, uh, since it is the most conductive of the metals out there. It's a very conductive, and it can uh, transfer both heat and cold in amazingly efficient manners due to its uh, molecular, to its structure, the atomic structure. It can be mixed with other alloys and be used for myriad of different things in terms of its, uh, of its use in electronics and in science and technology. It's an amazing metal in that regard. And because it's so cheap compared to gold, um, it can be utilized and it can be implemented in technologies that we can really afford. And that's another beautiful thing about silver, indeed. In the biomedical field, silver is quite an impressive metal. It is the least reactive and it actually fights bacteria. So it can help us. And you can put it into a liquid, do electrolysis process and have colloidal silver. It can be used uh, for antimicrobial natures. There was a time when people used to put silver dollars into quarts of milk to preserve it. Quite fascinating, and it can be used to help eliminate odors caused by bacteria and other things in clothing and the like. Fascinating indeed. It's quite a remarkable metal. For those reasons alone ought to be enough for us to want to acquire this precious metal, but the fact that it has been used as money since about 700 BC 
really is the thing that tops it off the most. Because as a commodity in science, technology, and industry, it's quite impressive metal to hold in one's portfolio uh, for those types of applications. But seeing as it has been used as money for literally millennia, that is really one of the biggest drivers for most of us in this community while we hold this precious metal. And that's a reason to love silver indeed. A beautiful metal. Well done, well made. And it could be struck into the most beautiful forms from the coins of the Byzantine and Roman era in Greek times to the most intricate micro, print, uh, micro etching technology and security features that you see in products such as this and others. It's a very ductile metal, strong it's reflective, and it doesn't corrode. It doesn't go away. But the one aspect of it that many people love about silver is its tarnishing abilities. And some of, these, some of the toning that it can occur when uh, it comes in contact with uh, sulfur, or sulfur is in the air, can create some beautiful toning. And that's quite attractive to many in the community and in the, and in the collector universe in general, the toning. Now, I won't mention milk spotting because you do see that on certain pieces because milk spotting is a man-made um, phenomenon based off the detergents put into silver. But the silver itself is not to blame for what's known as milk spotting. So we don't have to worry about that in terms of the metal itself, silver, the beautiful silver metal. Its use in coins, rounds, and bars has been in place for quite some time. And when the price goes up or goes down, we can accumulate it and hold it and stack it. And it's something that uh, is easily stored and easily put away, especially in compact forms such as this or coins. And you can put them away and know that they're going to be there for a while. And if you keep it in a cool, dry place, and uh, the void of much sulfur or any other elements in the air, it'll stay the same for hundreds, maybe even thousands of years. It does not corrode. It's an amazing non-reactive metal in that regard. Silver. Its beauty surpasses many things. In, in ancient Egypt, it was considered, a, it was rare in that region and more expensive than gold. A fascinating metal indeed. It has a very unique specific gravity, which means that it can be tested against other metals out there um, using a non-destructive method without any other way or anything else to, that you would need, any other device, you can test your silver for a specific gravity and take away a few points here or there for any alloys such as sterling silver or coin silver it still has a unique enough specific gravity to be able to test it for authenticity. You can also use what's known as the magnet test to be able to test your silver as well, although that is not quite as effective because copper has a lot of the same diamagnetic properties, but still, I like the fact that it can be verified with relative ease. Silver. It's unique. It's beautiful. It really is a beautiful metal because of its reflectivity. But even in a form where there's a matte finish or a, a raw rough finish, it still shines. That reflectivity still shows itself in spite of. And yes, dirt can collect on certain silver coins and the like, but you remove that dirt and there it is. It shines brightly underneath the dirt. People that go out metal detecting, when they find a silver quarter, they know right away it's silver because it doesn't corrode in the ground. The beautiful thing about silver is that it sells itself. Silver is such a unique precious metal, the most common of the precious metals, and its price point throughout history has remained relatively stable. If you look at a chart for the last hundred years, this 100 gram bar of silver's price 
compared to what it was a hundred years ago, could could be sold, and the money from the sale could purchase the same things that were around a hundred years ago as they can today. Silver sells itself. It is a beautiful metal. Be proud that you've accumulated silver, no matter the price. Because what you hold in your hand is something of beauty. And there's something to be said for admiring the beauty of a metal that you know will never lose intrinsic value. So I hope this video was an encouragement to you. And I would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.